So today I've got my hands on the Biontech UFO P10. This is in fact a compact portable LED video projector with built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and Android. This projector will allow you to enjoy your movies, games and videos on a large 150 inch screen. And you can pick this up right now for $225. So without any further ado, let's get it out of the box and see what's inside. Now inside the box you will find your user manual you're getting a very useful USB power cable and with this cable you'll be able to power and charge the projector using a power bank. So it's nice to have this cable included, you usually have to buy this separately. You're also getting a mini tripod and it's made from a combination of metal and plastic legs and the legs are extendable. So small remote control included powered by two AAA batteries and you will be able to control all functions of this projector using this handy remote control. You're also getting a power adapter and I'll tell you the voltage it's 5 volt 3A and last but not least the portable projector itself and just check out the size of this unit. It's made from a combination of plastic and metal where the body going all the way around is made from metal with a silver finish and the top and bottom are both made from plastic. Now on the front we have ventilation and your lens if we go to the side, you've got focus adjustment so you can get the best picture quality possible. And on the back of the unit, we have a micro SD card slot, reset hole, USB port, power socket, headphone jack, and an HDMI in. So you can connect up your favorite game console or TV box and enjoy that on the big screen. You also have a small physical power button over here. And on this side, there is nothing. That brings us back to the front and this is what the bottom of the projector looks like. So we have more ventilation at the bottom and a tripod screw, meaning you can mount this to any tripod or you can use one included. And I'll just show you briefly how that looks. Now let's quickly go through the specs. This is an LED video projector. Energy efficiency is 10 watts. Lamp life is 30,000 hours and in case you're not sure, if you use this projector every single day for five hours, the lamp life will last you 10 years. So 30,000 hours is actually a long time. Now brightness is 250 ANSI lumens. Native resolution is 854 by 480. The contrast ratio is 2000 to one. Maximum optimal screen size is 150 inches. You do have HDMI inputs for your game consoles or TV boxes. You've got a built in two watt speaker. Now this projector is special, it has Android built in and it's running Android 7.1.2. The CPU is the Rockchip 3218. You've got two gigs of RAM with 16 gigs of internal storage, dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth version four. It does support screen mirroring and you have a built in 4,200 milliamp hour battery. Now I do wanna briefly turn this on to show you what it looks like. If we keep the power button pressed, this is with my studio lights on people and if I switch off the studio lights, of course you're going to get a much more brighter and vibrant image. Light on, light off. So we are three meters away from the wall in front of us and we are projecting a hundred inch screen. And the first thing I like to do is the fan test. If you stand next to the projector you can pretty much hear that fan noise. So if we move a meter away, and grab my sound meter. So from a distance of one meter, the fan noise was only 36 decibels. You could hardly hear it. So fan noise, not bad at all. So this is actually the built-in Android home screen. This is what it looks like. You've just got a whole bunch of icons laid out in front of you. Now the remote control works quite well. You just point it kind of towards the projector and it will pick up the signal no matter where you are situated in the room. So you've got a whole bunch of apps like YouTube, Netflix. You've got the full version of the Google Play Store. If we quickly go to settings, we're gonna check out the system storage info. You have 16 gigs of internal storage from which there are 11 gigs free to use. And if we go back and check out about, we will see that we are running Android version 7.1.2. So we're gonna try out some apps on the box. Let's begin with Netflix. So it looks like we have support for Netflix 480p. Now the picture quality didn't look that bad. It wasn't pixelated or anything like that, but the projectors built in speakers were quite low volume. 
so the sound is not great. So the built-in YouTube you get lets you stream a maximum of 1080p. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so we're going to do a quick lighting test. So I'm going to briefly turn the light on. So this is what the projector looks like with the light on. You can barely see anything. Now let's switch that light back off. So you can see the difference. And also, let's get a close-up of the clarity. So even coming right up to the screen, you will not see any pixels, but the brightness is not quite there. So we've briefly tested out the internal Android, so you should have an idea of what it can do. But now I've connected up a Chromecast Ultra directly to the HDMI port. And the Chromecast is starting to become one of my favorite projector testing tools, especially as you can cast Full HD YouTube and you can play Google Stadia games. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So Chromecast on the wall right now. And the first thing I'm going to do is play some Netflix directly from my phone, ready to cast. So if I just hit play on my phone. So we are now streaming 1080p Netflix directly to the projector via Chromecast. And it looks stunning, I have to say. It looks really, really clear. It definitely looks better than the internal Netflix. So now I'm connecting to YouTube and we're going to play a few trailers. So here we go. So now I'm going to connect to Google Stadia and we're going to try out some games. So here we go.
So we are now four meters away from the wall in front of us and we are projecting around 120 inches. So it's taking up nearly whole of that wall. It's a huge projection size. And if I go up close, it's not pleasant, but you can see that there's no pixelation at all. The colors and the contrast, everything looks great. So a very, very decent picture quality for a 480p projector. So there you have it guys, that was the new Biontech P10 portable LED projector. Now if you're looking to buy this projector, hopefully this video will help you make a decision on your purchase. Now the projector itself feels premium in design and build quality. It's low powered so you can charge and use it at the same time with a power bank. Now projection quality when using the built-in Android system, so watching the built-in YouTube and Netflix for example, I found the picture quality to be okay, there was no pixelation up close, but the actual brightness of the picture was not great. However, when I connected an HDMI device, so my Chromecast or PS4, I found that I was getting a much better brightness and better overall picture quality, and it was giving me 1080p interpolated, but it looked pretty good. Now fan noise was on the lower side and the remote control included was actually quite responsive. Now onto the cons, first and foremost, it's a 480p native projector for $225. Also, the built-in speakers are terrible. There is no point beating behind the bush or getting political about it. Straight up, the speakers are very bad. It distorts at the maximum volume and the maximum volume itself is not very loud. Now you can for sure buy a cheaper 720p projector, but they will be a lot bigger in size and certainly not portable. And a perfect example is the Vanvo L4200, which is a 720p projector at only $129. However, portability does come at a price and most portable projectors are quite expensive. But that being said, the 8man M4 is a lot cheaper at only 169 US dollars and offers much better quality than this Biontech P10 model. So that brings us to my top video projector chart for 2020, allowing you to compare the specs and prices of all the latest projectors. And as you can see, the Biontech P10 has secured its position at number 23 on this chart and scored a rating of 8 out of 10. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. Bottom line, whilst I do like the design and portability and the HDMI projection quality is not bad for a 480p projector, but at this price point, there are definitely better options to consider as shown in my chart. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description for this projector and the two that I just mentioned, so you guys can check them out for yourself. And if you like one of them, you can go ahead and pick one up for yourself. Also, you've seen the video, let me know your honest opinion on this projector, let me know what your thoughts are and would you buy this projector or how it can be improved. Meanwhile, if you like my honesty, because I'm getting very used to it now, so on this channel all you're going to get is plain, simple, brutal honesty. So if you like it, do smash that like button to let me know and I'll continue that honest streak. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.